So because of that, you want to now stop that and curve that because it annoys you. You don't want the acne or the breakouts. And so the products that you buy strip that. Hey everybody, welcome to the Makeup Corner. For those joining us for the very first time, welcome you all, welcome. Um, for those who are always here, hey guys, how's it, your family? I posted a video of um, how, to finding your, how to find your skin type and then someone left a comment saying, thanks, this was really great, how do you deal with changes in winter? Um, like my skin is combination more on the oily side but come winter it really it, it feels really dry should i now buy products that are for dry skin during this time i made a few notes i want to do a little bit of research and i came back with results so i made notes if i look down i'm looking at my notebook just to make sure i remember all the notes this thing about your skin get be, feeling more dry in winter than um, for people who have oily skin is actually very common I found there is a difference between hydration dehydrated skin and dry skin for people who um, are oily and you find your skin to be dry in winter your skin is not dry because dry is a skin type you can't change it um, your skin is dehydrated right um, <laughs> Dehydrated means your skin does not have enough water while dry your skin does not um, pr uh, produce enough oils. Um, we tend to see dehydrated skin more common people with oily skin in winter. This happens because the products that you've used you to like to control the acne and the outbreaks have stripped your skin of um, the hydration that it needs and so when it comes to winter your skin is so is, it, even if it's oily it's so dehydrated that it likes calling for hydration and I know a lot of people with oily skin tend to do that they tend to buy harsher products for their skin because they think if I can just treat this acne if I can just treat this oily I don't want my skin to produce so much oil I want to control it and so they tend to buy products that like dry up their skin and so to stop the oil okay so it is now up to you as someone with oily skin to figure out what is it in your skincare situation that is causing your face to break out like um, not to break out but to go um, to be dehydrated in winter you will either have visible fine lines on your skin you will have acne redness for those who are lighter you'll see the redness nicely you have congested congested skin where it feels like your skin is not breathing enough you'll have inflammation out on your face you can be like random scabs or and some of you will even have acne flare-ups that's how you know uh oh i have dehydrated skin to use harsh products for your face Harsh products like the exfoliator that you over exfoliate your your face, like um, or the exfoliator that you use is too harsh on your skin. The cleanser that you use also very harsh on your skin, which means also draws it dries out your your skin, and then you think, ah, it's so good. I'm treating my oily skin you don't realize it in the moment because all you are is frustrated and you think because I don't see oil then it's good no it's not you, you are actually stripping your skin from all the water that it really needs the weather of course is the causes it so you already know ah the weather is also the one that not that causes but also plays the role with all this product now your skin is already strapped the air is already dry and your skin cannot breathe you drink a lot of caffeine but you don't drink a lot of like water caffeine also strips from your um from your skin as well so try and mix it because i know i know it's cold and everybody really wants a cup of coffee and stuff but try and also drink as much water as you can just to level out the amount of like toxins in your in your body because of the caffeine heaters also makes your skin very dry on oh, my flunky monkey i'm one of those people because I, like i said my skin is um combination more to the dry side when i sit under a heater guys in winter it's even worse yeah 
it's much worse and i mean yeah it's just bad guys but you need the heater because you want to keep warm so even that strips your face off of its hydration now that you know that okay this is who i am and you are part of like my friend who gave who sent me the, the who gave me the comment how do you do what do you do to treat <laughs> how do you do what do you do then to treat your face You have to don't have to change all the products that you have all you need to do is if you scrub exfoliate um maybe like every third day then scrub once every seven days for example that's the best thing you can do scrub once every seven days because remember scrubbing also removes a bit of like hydration from your skin number two is that you can get a nice moisturizer and most people with oily skin think that if they they should um moisturize their skin because they have oil, uh, oily skin just remember if you deprive your face and your skin off of the hydration that it needs that comes from your moisturizer your skin is going to produce more oil than necessary which will cause more breakouts so please make sure that you do hydrate by moisturizing your skin it is as important for like person with dry skin that is as with a person with oily skin this will also help balance the oils in your skin your, your skin will um will be able to also balance out the oils because now you're providing it with enough moisture that doesn't have to over produce oils if that makes sense if you're going to find a nice um, lotion, if you don't have it, not lotion, but like a moisturizer for your skin, and um, please find something that is like healing and that is like soothing, that is a thick enough, that will not congest your skin, but is thick enough to provide your skin with enough hydration. I unfortunately don't have one here that I can I can show you. But what you can do is, if for example you don't have the money, the cheapest thing you can actually do is go to the shop and buy some a little bit of glycerin and mix a bit of glycerin into your lotion and then apply that. Because you also want to apply something too thick. Like I know I told my friend that you can apply Vaseline, but you don't want to apply too much of the Vaseline. Because remember, your skin is already oily and Vaseline is like very thick. And uh, uh, if you put that layer on, sometimes it can, for some skins, it can it, like clog up your skin, causing congestions. And then you get acne and breakouts and then you're not happy. If that makes sense, right? So be very careful with the Vaseline and use a little bit of it. Again, I'd rather you use your own lotion that you already use that's good for your oily skin or combination skin. A little bit of glycerin, apply, apply. I mean, mix them together a little bit and then apply. The best time to do this oil um, to moisturize your skin is, is at night during winter because remember throughout the day you've exposed your skin to all of the elements and stuff like that so it was already like what is happening and so the best time to treat it is at night before bed make sure that you do apply a nice night cream if you have a night cream i like a night cream i usually have a night cream in winter yes i do and my night cream is usually like vaseline dry skin absorbs like m moisture so quickly um because it needs it so much that I can put Vaseline on and not have issues at all. And Vaseline has been one of my constant winter friends. If I need something else, I'll use a little bit of other oils that I'll mix together, like the tea tree oil, vitamin C's and stuff. I'll mix them all together. And vitamin E, especially vitamin E. I like to buy vitamin E in winter. So I'll be like vitamin E, my tea tree oil, mix them together and try and apply that. And mix that with my night oil and apply that. But um my always go to one you'll find me even during the day will be vaseline nothing happens my skin loves it it's always so happy you guys are like remember that video that i filmed with the quarantine one yep a good vaseline and my skin is just happy but for someone with oily skin it might not really work because remember um you also want to apply something that's too thick that will congest your skin and cost you to get acne and then the other thing that you can also do is then drink water like i said hydrating like with water or um with fruits that has like water like watermelons and grapes and popo and spanspec and stuff like that and then the other 
and then the other thing is that i'm going to end this year now the last thing is that please don't copy from your friend don't copy from your friend make sure that you find something that works for you if you're ready for like product lines that you use like you use the clicks brand or nivea or whatever try and find in that range if you can find a more moisturizing or hydrating type um moisturizer I, they always have ones that are written oily to combination or normal to oily normal combination skin and stuff like that try something like that it's a bit thicker than the usual one in summer and then always make sure that you hydrate your skin at night make sure that you always apply at night it's like washing your face at night like not like washing your face at night yes you, i hope you also cleanse your face at night and you apply the nice lotion it will help for the morning but for people with oily skin if you do wash your face at night and you apply your lotion at night that thick lotion make sure that you do wash it off in the morning not with your with it like a like your harsh cleanser but it can just be with a bit of like a lukewarm water and you wash it off because you don't want to have that um thick layer of of moisturizer on your skin again and you're gonna just wake up and then just go so please make sure that you cleanse your face a little bit with like that and then you you get go on your way don't forget to put on your sunscreen during winter as well it is just as important during winter as it is in summer as it is when you're at home like your moisturizer i hope i've said a lot and i hope i've helped yeah i hope so <laughs> i get away with myself sometimes if i like have an idea in my head and i'm trying to like you know figure out like so much happening here and i need to jumble all of that so they can come out of here so i struggle a little bit with you know trying to figure out what am i choosing is that the right word whatever whatever but i hope i make sense and i hope i've answered your question and i hope i've helped you so now that winter is here you can actually go out to the shop and see how that helps you i'm looking at my notes to see what exactly i've missed now in this whole sequence thingy so we're talking about the signs that yours you also experience the same problem my friend does the one who ask the question so that you know you're in the same category if you're in the same category talk about what causes that oh so at the end of the day basically to close it off look at all your products and all your routines what are you doing that is tripping your skin and then try and remove that and re or reduce that during winter so you can hydrate your skin more but i've given you tips on how to do it and i mean drinking water eating healthy um, and like water fluid based fruit and not so much coffee try and put in more tea that also works nice healthy tea more hydrate and then when you do buy a moisturizer buy a healing moisturizer with a little bit of glycerin in it but not something that is so thick that will clog up your skin to give you more outbreaks and you don't want outbreaks in winter you just don't want outbreaks in general All right guys a, a good um, skincare routine and Perfecting your skin skincare routine understanding your skin is a journey You don't get to do it just once and, and take it because remember with age your your skin also changes your your, your text the texture of your skin changes um, Your type does not change It might be affected, but I don't think it changes in, in general at all and then um, Yeah, you learn to deal with it every season every day basically like that and then you just try to walk with it don't be in a hurry for like a product to work today it is about four to six weeks for a product to really work on your skin you can check everywhere you go those are there the tendency that we have of if for example there's like scabs in your skin is a little bit whatever you always want to go in with harsher products but just remember your face breaking out means your face is complaining that something in it is missing i hope that makes sense but we tend to see back but yeah i just have outbreaks i don't know what's happening it's usually that just so you know so every time you see i'm going to repeat this like 500 times every time you have an outbreak it's a sign your body is telling you that hey Please take note, I'm struggling a little bit over here. So it's not for you to go in and be more harsh with your skin. Actually, you should go in and try and use products that heal your skin. Find, find products that will soothe it and mend it. Because now you need to be more sensitive with your skin. You need to be more careful about what products you put on. Don't be harsh trying to strip it now. Must scrub it away because I have a patch here. That's not how that works. 
your skin is telling you without outbreak that hey i need help so help the skin don't try and punish it for telling you that it needs help thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed and learned something again if you have questions don't forget to put them down in the comment section below i will definitely read it and i will do the research if i need to do the research before i come back to you and give you an answer because i'm not a trained professional but i want you to have great skin care so the more i know the more i'll share with you as well so don't forget to leave your questions in your comments there and don't forget to like the video if you do like the video and don't forget to also subscribe to the channel to make help us grow and if you know of a friend who also needs to see this video please make sure that you share it with them and ask them to subscribe as well let's keep the channel growing ah if you're wondering about this makeup look you, you will see a video very soon about how this look comes together and yeah you'll see it very soon that's basically what I can say for now. I tried to film like two videos in one. So if you see the same look and then the same top again, just remember she filmed two videos at the same time. Efficiency. Is that efficiency? Efficiency. Trying to be efficient and consistent in the streets. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Uh, keep on praying and trusting Jesus.